So check this out guys, we are back on the Night Village of Extreme Speed. We have just gemmed our way to Builders Hall level 6 and inside of this episode now, we will be unlocking, upgrading and gemming the brand new troop the Night Witch to see how good she is. So a huge announcement before we get ourselves into the action, this Friday we are giving away a $250 giveaway. I've teamed up with my sponsor Misplay and we are going to be giving away 5 $50 gift cards guys iTunes or Android. If you want the chance to win, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. This Friday, we are going to pick five random winners from my subs. Please, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, guys, feel free to use the link at the top of the description box. That will take you straight over to Misplay, where you can download some apps, get some free points, and use them to redeem some gems. So let's do this. I honestly didn't know which troop I was going to upgrade and gem to max level first, the Night Witch or the brand new level 6 P.E.K.K.A. But loads of you kept saying Tony do the Night Witch, so that is what we're going to do. Now currently, we've got 21,025 gems, but we're going to buy some more because we're also going to upgrade some other features in the Builder's Hall 6 base. Now just whilst we're doing this, let me know down below in that comment section. If you could max out the Night Witch or the P.E.K.K.A. level 6, which one would you choose to do? Let me know down below guys, hashtag Nightwitch or hashtag Pekka, but let's get ourselves a chest of gems. So there we go, we've just purchased another $99.99 .99 worth of gems. Now because I am spending gems inside of this episode, it is my duty to hide some gift cards in the video. So I've hidden not one, but two gift cards in this episode, one for Android, one for iTunes. If you want the chance to win them, all you need to do is keep your eyes open, they're going to pop up at a random point throughout the video. Leave a like on the video to get some good luck, guys, and there we go. That's going to take us to 35,000 gems, but I think we can buy one more pack. Let's just go for another, uh, let's go for another chest of gems, guys, another $99.99. We're going to have some fun on this channel, so uh, make sure you subscribe because this is going to get interesting. So this is going to be $200 worth of gems, and so far, that means we have about... $350 worth of gems inside of our account guys so that's going to take us to a total of what is that 49,000 gems just under 50k that that's pretty damn insane let's grab a screenshot of that just in case we want to use it for a thumbnail and let's get moving so night witch what do we need to do first off we actually need to unlock the night witch so that is going to do what is this the barracks guys do you wish to finish the upgrade of the builder barracks 165 gems level 8 barrack means the Night Witch should be unlocked. So we should actually unlock her if we go into the training of the troops. We can do this, guys. If I remove her, I can actually get a Night Witch now. Check that out, guys. So we got a Night Witch inside of our army camp now. But we do want to actually upgrade the Night Witch a couple of levels because she is only level 1. We can upgrade her right now. She's going to cost 600,000 elixir. But I believe we can also upgrade the Star Laboratory. So let's do that. One day, 1 million elixir. And that's going to take us to a total of 499 gems later, a level 6 lab. And we can actually research now every single troop, Rage Barbarians, Sneaky Archers, Boxer Giants, Beta Minions, Bombers, Baby Dragons, Cannon Carts, and of course the new Untold Night Witch, which we're going to check out in a couple of moments. So, let's go into the shop, let's go into the treasury, and let's fill up our elixir, guys. We're going to fill up our elixir, and you know what? We're also going to fill up our gold. May as well. Go back into the treasury, fill up our gold storages. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, guys, because this week is going to be pretty damn insane. The upgrades in the bases, the, uh, the new features, we're going to test everything out all the way up until the weekend and see if the new update is awesome. And uh, so, 1.6 million gold, 1.6 million elixir. Let's upgrade these witches to the next level. Increases bat spawning speed plus 20%. Let's do that, guys. 265 gems. And we got level 2 witches. Let's upgrade them again. That's going to increase the damage per second plus 9 and hit points plus 20. And that's going to take them to level 3. Damn, that's quite a long time, guys. 24 hours for an upgrade, 499 gems, and we got ourselves level 3 witches. So they do upgrade and max out at level 12, but we're not going to do that just yet because, you know, I want to have some fun. I want to farm up as well. I don't want to gem everything. We're going to keep some, most of these gems. We're probably going to spend on the main village, guys, but we're also going to do some upgrades on the Builder's Hall as well. So let's actually get into, the, uh, into some live attacks and see what these witches are all about after all. It's all about the witches. We can actually also upgrade the uh, the battle machine. But we're not going to do him just yet. Maybe we'll do a whole separate video for that dude. So, 
Six gems later, training time, let's find a match. What we're going to do, we're going to do an entire Night Witch army. Going to check them out, see what they're all about, see if they're awesome, see if they suck, and see if they are too OP or too OP, UP, underpowered. So, let's do this, guys. Let's reduce the cannon carts, the cannon carts, and the rage barbarians. Now, bear in mind, they're only level three, and we are taking on, you know, a maxed out Builders Hall 5 base. So you can't really expect too much in terms of what they do. Now I've heard these these witches are made for killing the Crusher. So we're going to spawn them down on the right hand side. And we're going to see if we can actually take out the Crusher. So let's just go in with a spam attack guys and see what happens. So here we go. Check it out. Night witches diving in straight away. Taking out the, uh, the guard post. Still got all six witches alive of course. We got the battle machine up the front. He's going to be a beautiful tank, and we're going to use the Battle Machine's ability for the second time already. Night Witches seem to be pretty much wrecking this base nice and early. Crusher has killed my uh, my Battle Machine, but we still got these Witches alive, and they're pretty much going to destroy that Crusher. Just as it states, they are there to terminate and completely annihilate the Crusher, and it seems to be doing a great job so far. So the Moldy Mortar up the top, obviously going to be the Witches' probably biggest enemy. So far, guys, it looks like they're great. It looks like they do do a lot of damage, but the Mega Mine just wipes out two of them. And so far, from a spam of baby, sorry, a spam of Night Witches, it looks like we're going to be ending somewhere around the 50%. Now, as I said, this is a maxed out Builders Hall 5. They are only level 3, and I'm sure they get so much more OP as we upgrade them and possibly max them out to Builders Hall, sorry, to, uh, to level 12. Now, here's the question for you, my subs watching the video. If you've made it this far into the episode and want to see me gem these to max level and push to the top 10 on the leaderboard using Night Witches, smash a like on this episode. If this video gets 20,000 likes, we will gem them to max level 12 in one of the next videos and push to the top 10 in the world. So actually saying that, let's go ahead and check out all these dudes who are top in the world already maxed out Builders Hall 6s. Not maxed out, but you can see they've got level 6 defenses, guys. They've got the roaster, and uh, they've also got double cannons, level 6. Archer Tower's level 6. Pretty much maxed out loads of the base. Level 10 battle machine, and in the army camp, he's just got loads of, I believe, a level 12 rage barbarians. And there they are. Look at them. Level 12 witches. They look quite scary. Actually look pretty dope. Shout out to Supercell, guys. This update seems to be awesome. So, let's try another live attack, then we're going to gem them up a couple more levels, guys. Let's bring ourselves the battle machine, 8 gems later. Witches are ready, let's lock and load. Check out this dude's base, looks a bit easier. I've got a plan. Let's reduce a couple of the witches, let's bring some boxer giants as tanks, and we're also going to bring some bombers, just to open up a couple of extra walls, guys. So let's do this, here we go. Okay, that wall kind of failed, but we'll drop in another bomber there. We got two walls open, and we've got one bomber remaining. I think we're just going to keep him and see what happens. So we're going to attack from... Let's come in from this side over here, guys. Let's just drop down this bomber and see if he can funnel for us. Just to take out the army camp and the elixir collector, that would be awesome. And that will ensure a funnel is made. So we're going to see if that bomber can take out that elixir collector. Oh, Mega Mine goes off. That's so unfortunate, guys. But we're cool. Let's go. Mega Mine's off, that means the witches aren't going to hit it, so that's great for me. And we're going to drop in the final Boxer Giant as well. So here we go, there goes the Battle Machine special ability. we got these Night Witches now moving into the base, guys. The question is, can they take out the Crusher before the Battle Machine gets crushed? Or is the Battle Machine completely going to avoid the Crusher? Let's find out. Here we go, nope, he's going to go straight for it. There goes the Battle Machine's ability. Maybe he can take it out on his own. Here we go, one more shot and we should be good. It goes down, but the Battle Machine's going to die as well. And the Night Witches are about to get exterminated, I believe, by the Archer Tower. But you never know. Here we go. Oh, they took it out, guys. Check the HP on that Night Witch. Like, one hit point. Maybe not even that. Double Cannon's going to come into play now. Night Witch is getting chucked around by the Push Trap. And it appears there is only one left in the entire base. So my thoughts on these Night Witches so far. They are awesome. They're definitely unique. And I think they're going to be a great addition to the game. My opinion, they probably will be... When all troops are maxed out at level 12, oh, we can watch live as well. When all troops are maxed out at level 12, I believe the Night Witches will be the most OP, but that's just my thoughts. But um, for now, I think we're going to need to upgrade them a couple more levels, guys. So let's maybe send them to, um, 
Let's grab some more loot, actually. Let's maybe send them to, I don't know, level... Level 6? Let's do it. Let's let's grab a screenshot of that loot just in case we need it. And uh, that's going to be 1.6 million elixir. Level 4 is going to unlock special abilities Bass Swarm. We haven't seen that. Let's let's go ahead and do that and then try it out, guys. So we got level 4 witches. Let's try a Bass Swarm. Okay, we lost. Obviously, that was always going to happen. We need to bring ourselves the battle machine. This time, we're going to do all Night Witches again. We're going to remove all the other troops. Just use Night Witches. And we're going to see what this new Bat Swarm is all about, guys. So obviously, right now, we are dropping in trophies. But it doesn't matter too much. It's just all fun and games for now, guys. So we got Bat Swarm. We're going to use three camps of Night Witches. One camp of Rage Barbarians. Just to see if we can, you know, kind of make a funnel. So, the plan. You know what? I've got a different plan. Let's really destroy this base. Check this out. Beta Minions are going to take out that Moldy Mortar. Then we're going to use the Bombers to open up the top of the base. Then we're going to send in the Battle Machine and the Night Witch. And I'm going to see if we can get a victory here. So, we're going to drop in a couple more of these Beta Minions. Just to get some extra percent, guys. That's all we want. Extra percent. I believe we should have a clear shot at that Moldy Mortar. Although, I may have used one too many, uh, one too many Minions. Hopefully, we've got this Moldy Mortar in the bag. Let's find out, guys. Check it out. Moldy Mortar is going down. If the beta minion stays out of range, yes it has, we're going to grab that Baldy Water and then we can move in with the bombers and take this base down for a couple of stars. I'm hoping to get somewhere in the region of 75 to 85% guys, so let's find out if it's going to work. Two bombers going to go down, the uh, the Baldy mortar is gone, so that's obviously good. Let's drop another bomber down the bottom left, just to take out some more buildings. we got the guard post in the center, that's obviously going to distract some of our troops guys, but we, we should be good. We should definitely be good to go. So, we got this bomber over on the left-hand side. That might actually draw over this guard post. I'm not sure. But I think we're also going to be opening up this part of the base here. So, we got loads of the base open. Ready to penetrate and completely destroy. Let's go in with the battle machine now. Check this out. Battle machine's going to go down. Night Witch is just behind. Send in the bomber. And we're going to keep back this final beta minion, guys. Check it out. The Bass Swarm is obviously going to get activated as well, guys. Here comes the Guard Post. Takes out my Battle Machine. That's kind of sad. The Night Witch is getting wrecked here by the Double Cannons. And it looks like we've only got a single Night Witch alive. Yeah, we got destroyed. Those, are, those, those Night Witches, they're cool. But they do need some sort of tank. So maybe they'll go well with the, uh, the Boxer Giants. But I'm not really too sure. Once we max out all the troops, we'll really be able to test them. But for now, they're still only level 4. I don't want to gem them to max level just yet, guys, because it could ruin the experience with the game. And, you know, I don't want to gem everything. It kind of gets boring. But, so far, we have spent, what, 7,000 gems in this episode. Still got 42,800 remaining. We may as well send a troop to a next level. I mean, we may as well do the Night Witches again, guys. Night Witches, increased damage per second, plus 10, and hit points, plus 22. Gonna be 900,000 elixir. Let's do it, guys. Only gonna cost 400 and, uh, sorry, 250 gems. And that's gonna send them to level 5. Almost halfway at level 6, so they're almost at 50% total damage. And I believe we're gonna end this episode here. There will be another one coming. I think the next episode is gonna be covering the main village. Haven't really done too much on this yet, and I want to, uh, probably gem these peckers to level 6 inside of the next episode guys 1850 gems stay tuned for that should be a really cool video i'll see you shortly have a great day peace out